Okay, so this is part two of my autumn book haul. These are all my paperback books. If you didn't see my hardback books, I will leave a link in the description below. Again, I got all of these for one to two dollars at my library, except for one which I bought full price online. The first book I'm going to mention is The Glass Forest by Cynthia Swanson. I actually went and saw her do like a book talk. Cynthia Swanson wrote The Bookseller and I read that a few years ago and really loved it. I actually haven't read this one yet, so I bought it at her book signing and I got it signed by her. This takes place in the 60s and it's a couple who has just had a baby and the niece of the husband calls them and says that both of her parents have been murdered so they end up taking her in. I really enjoyed going to see Cynthia Swanson. She is just a really nice person. Next I picked up Snowflower and the Secret Fan. This is by Lisa C. I've been seeing this book around at my library for years now and I've never picked it up until I found out that the author is coming to town so I decided I should probably read it so I could go see her. I really don't know what any of her books are about but she writes a lot about China and I also picked up China Dolls by her and again I don't know what this one is about either so if you've read any of her books let me know what you thought of them. Next I got Claire Fuller's Swimming Lessons. I read Our Endless Number Days years ago. I know a lot of people didn't care for it but I really loved it and I have been really wanting to pick this one up for some time now so my mom finally bought me this copy. Unfortunately I just found out that I don't own Our Endless Number Days so now I only have this book so I really need to get that other one. I think this is about a woman who goes missing but I'm not entirely sure. I'm really eager to finally get to this one. Next I picked up A Shilling for Candles. I had never heard of this one but I guess it's a classic. Unfortunately I think it is the second or third in the series. I don't know if it necessarily matters if I read them in order. It is just the same detective in all of them. But I guess the author was known as a really great mystery author in England. So again if you guys have read any of these books let me know if I can start with this one or if I need to start with the first one. Next I got Shelter. My mom actually bought this for me as well. I had actually just marked this to want to read on Goodreads and she ended up buying it for me. With the K-pop book club I've been trying to get into more Korean authors. I think this is about a family who's kind of struggling with money and the husband doesn't really get along with his parents but I think his parents end up having to move in with him and things just go wrong from there. This sounds really intriguing and I'm really just interested in getting a glimpse into a Korean household. Next I picked up The Rebel by Albert Camus. I read The Stranger a few years ago and really didn't like it. I think I might actually have to go back to that one because so many people do love it but for some reason I'm just really drawn to these covers. My copy of The Stranger looks like this as well. I don't know when I'm going to give this one a shot because I did hate The Stranger so much but it is a really pretty book that I can finally put on my shelf. Next is If Cats Disappeared from the World. I have talked about this a lot recently because I did just recently read it. I heard someone here on booktube talking about it and I decided to pick it up. This is a Japanese author and it's about a man who is getting ready to die and the devil comes to him and tells him that if he gets rid of one thing in the world then he can live another day. This was a very interesting book and I was really glad that I checked it out. I definitely recommend picking this one up. Next I got The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon by Stephen King. I haven't read very many Stephen King books but I've read a few. My mom was actually getting rid of this one because she already had a copy so I decided to take it off her hands. Next I picked up The Importance of Being Earnest. This is by Oscar Wilde and I know a lot of people have read this especially for school. Unfortunately I was homeschooled so I didn't have a reading list. I actually just saw a list of short books that you should read before the end of the year just to catch up on your Goodreads goal. And this was one of the books on the list so I decided to pick it up and I'm going to try and read it before the end of the year. And the last book that I got was A Snow Garden and Other Stories. This is by Rachel Joyce. Rachel Joyce is one of my favorite authors. I love all of her books. I think this is the only one I haven't read by her. I think this is a bunch of short stories and it takes place around Christmas. So again I'm going to try and read this this December. I'm really glad to finally get another Rachel Joyce book on my shelf. Okay so let me know if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!